So just how are families dealing with the increase in rates? Fox 26 News reporter Myra Franco continues her team coverage. She spoke with one Fresno woman who shares how she and her husband have been overcoming the struggle of rate hikes throughout the years. Myra. Yeah, Liz, Lori Martinez says it's way too much. She says her and her husband have had to cut back on spending just so they're able to afford to pay their bills. It's just crazy. The prices on everything have gone crazy. I used to love going to the grocery store. And now Lori Martinez of Fresno says she doesn't because money is kind of tight. Not only because the cost of living has gone up, but her PG&E bill too. So we moved here, I, I want to say it was like January 2020 and, um, you know, PG&E bills seemed somewhat normal. Um, and then just every year they just started getting bigger and bigger. Nearly tripled by 2024. Our PG&E bills are running almost as much as our house payment. This winter, our lowest, I think, uh, winter bill was over 400. Um, and our lowest summer bill, I think, was over 600. And like close, some of them close to 700. So. <laughs> By comparison, Martinez points out she used to pay under $125 in the winter and around $250 in the summertime. To cope? You just cut different things like, you know, I know we don't travel as much as we used to. Um, one, because of gas. Two, because our household bills are more, you know, our food bills more, our PG&E bills more. They also cut down on how much electricity and gas they use to help lower the bill. We literally froze all winter. Like, <laughs> Even so, the bill was still up there, and when she found out why, she wishes she would have cranked up the heater last winter. She brought it up to PG&E, but they would say, hey, that's your bill, so she kept paying. That was until a few days ago. She says PG&E came out randomly to work on her meter and found out it was broken. They said that it had not been working since October of 2021. <laughs> so I was like, how were you billing me then for the gas charges were over $200 a month that, you know, the electric and the gas charges and, uh, each one. And so they said that they were going off prior year's usage. But I was like, it hasn't been working for two years. So prior to what? <laughs> what year? She says PG&E has been crediting her back. She says if there is one thing to take away from the story, to make sure to check the meters. Yeah, Martina says she would have never thought to check the meter. She says she is now looking forward to see what her next bill looks like. Liz, I also want to point out, she says even if PG&E is crediting her account, she's still keeping an eye on those bills to make sure everything is correct. You have to. All right. Thank you so much, Myra. Now, a lot of people have expressed outrage at these bill hikes, especially when taking into account PG&E's profits. The utility reported that it made a $2.24 billion profit last year. That's a 24% increase from the year before.